Remembrances reflect the culture of a people. Jewish society was an agrarian society at the time, so the festival of weeks or the day of first fruit was instituted by God to acknowledge the blessings and bounty of God. A major part of this festival of weeks was the sacrifice of grain. Now let's put this in context. The Israelites were camped at the base of Mount Sinai. They were in the desert, and in the desert, grain was not common. The Israelites could not grow it. They could not purchase it. In essence, the sacrifice of grain was not easy to do. The grain to be offered had to be of fine quality. The grain in this lesson was roasted so that the moisture was removed so that they could dry it, crush it, and make fine flour from it. Now, God tells Moses he wants the first portion of their grain. Now, the very first portion of the crop to be harvested is known as the first fruits. Farmers are excited about that because it serves as an indicator of how the harvest to come will be. Sometimes when we accomplish important actions, we sometimes forget how we made it through. God's telling Moses, when you arrive at the land God gave you and you harvest, the people must bring to the priest a small bundle of the first grains, the first fruits of that land. He is commanding them to offer those grains to God to acknowledge all the things he has brought them through and the bounty he has given them. God is expecting the people to bring their best, creating a festival that acknowledges his hand in their lives. He says, bring a yearling male lamb unblemished for burnt offering. He wants two tenths of a bushel of the finest flour and oil. That's about enough to bake a cake with wine. The people are to not eat any of the bread or roast any of the grain until they have presented their offering to God. As we celebrate graduations and the blessings of mothers who love us, God is speaking to the Israelites and to Christians today. In this lesson, he is stressing that we are expected to acknowledge that all things come from God. Look at his reminder of Moses. He says, when the people arrive on the land that I gave them to grow the crops, every aspect of their lives and every aspect of our lives are because of the bounty and the grace of God. In this lesson, he stresses that he wants the first fruits. He's reminding us and them that God should not be an afterthought. God should be our first priority. God should not be given the leftovers, the rest, residue, and remainder. If we truly believe that all things come from God, we must anxiously acknowledge and return that thanks for God's generosity. I know sometimes we want to leave the past behind and focus on the future. Here God says, I want generation after generation, no matter where you live to take the time to acknowledge God's hand. We must pass on the values that God teaches us. While they may call us names and say that we are holding on to old ways, we must stress to a busy generation that modern medicine and technology do not change the basic fact that our bounty and blessings flow from the grace of God and we should focus our priorities on God. We all are expected to take time and contemplate our blessings of family and mothers and opportunity and to give an offering of thanks and praise. Like last week's lesson, this lesson challenges us to have a generous spirit. Not only are we expected to provide the first fruits to God, he stresses don't harvest everything that you have. Leave some for the less fortunate. Remember, in these days, there is no Social Security, no government programs to feed the poor. Retirement depends on children 
and your community. So leaving the edges of your fields unharvested provided a social safety net for others. This lesson teaches us that our generosity must be towards God and towards our fellow man. Now note here, there's nothing in this lesson that says we must leave our fields unharvested for those who are worthy of our generosity, but poor. God does not give us these things for us to be stingy, thinking of ourselves first, praying and hoping for our stuff first, praying for our people first. God says to Israel, and he says to us, that we must love God and love our fellow man, not merely in words, but in offerings, in donations, in deeds, and in truth. That's the lesson for this week. Have a great week. Bye.